guys, welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. On this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a um, bezel necklace. So for this particular project, um, we have several choices. So for instance, if you are to purchase um, the jewelry making kit that we sell um, for this project, you will have the option of choosing a um, rectangular bezel. If I can get one out of here. Um, like this, um, an oval, or um, this one with the filigree, so it's um, has like this kind of scroll work around it. Um, and there are also different kind of hardware colors. So this is more of an antique gold, this one's a softer gold, um, rose gold, black, silver, bronze, all that fun stuff. Um, when you begin, if you choose again to purchase the kit, you will receive um, some different scrapbook um, papers here, some options that you can choose from um, to fill yours up, or obviously you can use something of your own. If you have a picture you wanna put in there, um, a little quote, a, um, a fabric would work if you can get it you know, cut neatly and placed in there. Any of those things will work. Um, so to begin, um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna choose one of these. So I'm gonna use the gold um, and I think I'm going, oh, the decisions. I think I'm gonna go with, I like this one, but I would use this one, I think, with the um, rose gold. That's pretty. What do we think? Let's do the flower. So um, to do this, what I wanna do is use the top. Um, this is a little, uh, it, it's basically essentially like a resin piece that you're gonna place on top um, instead of using actual resin. So you're gonna find you know, the section of your picture, scrapbook paper, whatever that you want to do, um, and you're just gonna trace around it. So I'm looking around to see which little area I like best. Um, and I'm gonna trace it, just deciding. I want some of this red in here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is, um, you can use a pencil, I've got a fine tip Sharpie here, and I'm just going to trace right around this. And when you cut it out, you want to make sure that you um, cut a little bit inside of the line that you're making, that way it fits. So we have this traced. I'm going to cut it just on the very inner part of the Sharpie line that I made. Um, I will say, uh, because we're going to use glue, and the same would would be the case if you um, use actual resin, you have to be careful with the type of papers that you use. So you can't just print something on paper, you know, from your printer and um, pop it in here and expect it to, to not have any issues. Um, things that would happen with resin or with glue is that it would make the ink bleed so you just wanna be mindful of that. Um, either get it laminated or make sure you buy pre-printed type paper. Um, if it's a photo, that shouldn't have any issues because um, of the photo paper that it's printed on, so. Okay, now I'm just deciding it looks like it goes this way. So that little guy fits. Um, and what I'm going to do is just put a little drop of glue. You'll receive a little um, tube of this E6000 in your kit and I will include a link in the um, description below if you're interested in purchasing this. And you'll just place your picture in there like that. And then um, we're going to put a coat of this glue on the back. You want it to be even. And we're just going to press it into place and press it really well. 
because if you don't, you're most likely going to see um, the glue underneath and you don't want that to be the case. And you definitely want to use um, like a glass glue or, you know, the E6000 is great. You don't want to use Elmer's glue. It's going to get, it's going to have like an opaque look to it and you're going to see it. Okay, so that is finished up. We're going to let it dry. Um, while it's drying, set it to the side here. And I'm going to um, assemble the necklace part of it. So you'll receive a chain, some jump rings, and a clasp. And I am going to hook on a jump ring and a clasp on one side. And you can um, cut the chain, you know, to the size that you want. So if you want a shorter necklace, you can certainly do that. And a little lobster clasp. Just open my jump ring, close it back up. Like that. Um, and carefully, normally I would let this, you know, dry first, but I'm gonna go ahead and slide it into here just for the sake of the tutorial. So I'm just putting this side in. And then I'm gonna hook my jump ring on to the other side as well. Like that. And close that up. My hands are jittery. Must have had too much caffeine today. Okay, like this. And there you have it. So very easy, um, resembles the look of resin and kind of like a, it has kind of a glass domed look that's really cute. Um, but you can do so many different things with this. Like I said, you could put um, a quote in there, a photograph, you know, of your children, um, fabric, different scrapbook paper. Um, the options are endless. So again, if you are interested in purchasing this kit, the link is in the description below. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching guys.